So I've been friends with Jesse and Ryan, the founders of Roy Pitts Brewery, for the last 10 years. These guys are dedicated to the art of craft brewing. Jesse and I have talked for years about the idea of building a Roy Pitts beer hauling truck for them to take to local events. It just so happens we were invited by Chris, who runs the Ultimate Call Out Challenge, to compete in the diesel rat rod build off against Village Customs. My name's Chris Searle. I'm with the Ultimate Call Out Challenge. I'm one of the co owners. We bring the 30 top diesel trucks together and we kind of created a triathlon, so the same truck has to compete in drag racing, dyno, and sled pulling over a three day period. The Ultimate Call Out Challenge, we always want to look away so we can grow the event, make it more interesting, more exciting for fans. Last year, met Kenny. He came out to our event. We started talking, and I thought, man, introducing rat rods and doing an ultimate build, and you know, have no boundaries. Just build the coolest, baddest looking diesel truck you can, and uh, let's see who wins. I'm Joshua Joyce. I own Village Customs. We are a custom shop out of Raleigh, North Carolina. At Village Customs, we build custom chassis and custom hot rods and rat rods um, from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. So Kenny called me one day and said, "Hey, uh, I'm Kenny, and I, I build Jeeps and." We have this, this show, it's called the Ultimate Call Out Challenge, and I'd like to do a, a, a build off, you know, my shop versus your shop. So I Googled him, and then I, well, I find out that he's built all these amazing cars, amazing things. I'm like, huh, oh, I build Jeeps. I'm Kenny that builds Jeeps, sure. So we decided to do this Ultimate Call Out Challenge. We're gonna build two rat rods versus each other, and I really think the outcome is gonna be absolutely amazing, and it's just gonna leave people, you know, speechless when they see what we've done. We got Kenny Hawk with Hawk Design versus Josh and his team at Village Customs. I'm excited for the reveal. I'm excited to see what these two guys bring to the table. Last year was the first time we had the opportunity to go to the Ultimate Call Out Challenge event in Indiana. It was an absolute blast. What better opportunity to bring this Roy Pitts beer tanker truck to life and compete head to head at this new event. My name is Jesse Rotz. I'm the co-founder of Roy Pitts Brewing Company in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. We brew beer, basically, from your standard light beer to your heavy barrel-aged porter. We're passionate about what we do. We're passionate about the, the people that support us and drink our beer. We're passionate about styles from all over the world. What gravitated us towards Kenny was the fact that it's more important now to get in front of your customer directly. Our companies have a lot in common. So we're both manufacturers and we're both artists. It also takes time to produce the end result of what we're looking to achieve. This vehicle and just the appearance itself tells our story. We're industrial, we're gritty, we are willing to get out there and do the hard work in order to get good beer in good people's hands. After sitting with Kenny and just seeing him sketch out the design and the look of this vehicle, I mean, it was just unbelievable. How can you not look at this vehicle when it's going to go down the, the highway. It's going to grab attention. It, it's going to make you look. It's going to make you ask questions. And that's what we want. We want people to ask questions about this vehicle and about our product. So here's the concept. We're going to take a 1946 Chevy COE, a 3,000 gallon diesel fuel tank, and build a slammed rat rod 18 wheeler that holds 14 kegs of beer. We basically hope to take this vehicle and, and turn it into a mobile party on wheels. I mean, this thing is gonna hold 14 kegs of beer. It's a lot of booze. You know, our goal is to get a lot of beer in a lot of people's hands, have a good time, and hopefully they remember Roy Pitts in the morning. So we were able to locate a 1946 Chevy COE a couple hours above Pittsburgh in Seneca, PA. Now it's time to get it unloaded, get it into the shop, and start cutting. So what do you think of this old girl? Man, I've been wanting to build one of these for a long time. 46 Chevy COEs, a little hard to come by these days. That's definitely a hidden gem. What do you got in the store for this thing? You want a hint? Yeah. Roy Pitt. <laughs> I've been wanting to build a beer hauling truck for Roy Pitts Brewery for quite some time. This 46 Chevy COE is going to be the perfect basis for a beer hauling truck. Picture this, we build this thing as a full on rat rod 18 wheeler tanker truck. I say let's get to drinking, I mean working. We can do both. I'm down.
To build a promotional vehicle for Roy Pitts is no small task. It can't just look good or go off-road. It needs to haul 14 kegs of beer to major events all over the country. Our goal is to build them something that is a rolling billboard for Roy Pitts and really showcases the quality of their product. Our beer is liquid art and the way it should be served should be equally as impressive. And this COE tanker truck is gonna do that for Roy Pitts.